you can take this practical physics notebook either from the publisher or ilmi book depot urdu bazar lahore thank you experiment 3 on page 114 in the practical notebook working page on left side page 113 of this same notebook uh, dear student uh, i am dr ahmed uh, i am assistant professor uh, in physics department of concept club uh, the task of uh, today uh, lecture is to perform the experiments and the title of this experiment is uh, to find the resistance of a board meter uh, by drawing a graph between r and 1 over v Uh, R for the resistance, as we are familiar, resistance is the opposition offered in the flow of current. V for potential. Potential show the uh, energy difference between two electrodes. Uh, this is the circuit diagram for uh, today experiment, and in circuit diagram we can see the apparatus as well. We will uh, take the battery, uh, which will range from zero to six volt. then we will connect a board meter in a resistance a combination with the help of a resistance box and this is the key uh, to switch on and off the circuit this is a very simple circuit and here we can see the manual apparatus uh, for this experiment we have a resistance box the and you know uh, maximum resistance which we can draw from here is around uh, 20000 and then we have a board meter here and it ranges from uh, 1 to 3 and uh, 0 to 15 for 1 to 3 we can use this uh, first two terminal but for 1 to 15 we we will use uh, these two extreme uh, right and extreme left uh, terminal this is our battery uh, which which is ranges from 0 to 6 volt and this is the key Uh, to switch on and switch off the circuit uh, the first step we will connect the wire uh, in this combination i can repeat again for you i will dismantle the wires just to show how we can connect this apparatus together again I can explain one more time. One more time about the apparatus. We have a resistance box, and we will get R from here, which uh, we mentioned in the title as well. And then we have a voltmeter, and we will get the value of V from here. Okay, we will start from the positive terminal of the battery. We connect it with the positive terminal of the battery, and then we connect it with the positive terminal of a voltmeter. Then we took the negative one of the board meter, and then we connected it. We will connect it to a resistance. Then we will place a, a key in between the circuit, just to, and then at the end we will connect it with the uh, battery again to complete the circuit. Yes, sir. You can see now that the circuit is complete, uh, and you can check by your own as well. And the one thing as a precaution here, there should not be any loose connection uh, in between the uh, apparatus, just to avoid the resistance or the distortion due to that loose connection. Uh, we can check from here that our circuit is complete. Then we will plug a key here, and then we will. In the next step, we will switch on the battery, and we can see uh, from here that the value on the board meter is around six volt. As we are using these two terminal, therefore we will use the upper scale. But if we, in some other case, if we will use these two terminal, then we will use a low scale. But now we can see that we plug in the circuit, and we got the six volt. on a board meter in the next step what we will do now we will remove some amount of resistance from here okay i i am plug, plugging out a resistance of 2000 ohm from here 
and we can see on the we can note down the value of uh, potential here uh, by plugging out of resistors of 2 ohm 2000 ohm we are getting a potential of 5 volt similarly we will and we, we will draw a table in between This is the R uh, and the units for this resistance is in ohm and then we will measure a potential and unit for it is volts. Okay, in the first step when we draw out a resistance of 2000 ohm, we got the potential value around 5. In the next step when we removed 2000 more it become 4000 and then we got around 4 volt in the next step when we will remove uh, 6000 we got a value around 3.5 in the next step uh, we will remove the 7000 now the value removed from here is around 8000 yeah, and we got the value around 3.04 and we, we can take uh, as an average the 5 measurements for this experiment to remove, therefore we will remove 2000 more from here and now the total plug out resistance from here are around 10000 and we got the value around 2.84 in the next step uh, what we will do now in the next are in the last step uh, which I can uh, show in a, a rough way here we will draw a graph between this 1 over V and we will do resistance along uh, x axis and then we will do 1 over V along y axis. When we will draw our points uh, between R and 1 over V which we mentioned, uh, which we got in our uh, table, then we will see that this kind of trend in the graph. Uh, this is a rough uh, practice here but you can do it in a correct way when you will perform in your uh, lab. Uh, we will got the intercept on uh, 1 over v axis here and we will extrapolate this curve and then we will got some value of uh, resistance r on the x axis and this r will be equal to the resistance of a quad meter. Uh, to get the any part you can uh, consult, you can uh, look on the slides which are uh, explain in a detailed way uh, with the video. Okay. And this this was the, our task today that we find out the resistance R V by connecting the circuit in a series combination and then we plug out uh, the different combination of resistances from it and then at the end we draw a graph between the uh, resistance and one over three and we got a resistance of a four meter while uh, doing this because that voltmeter is commonly used in the electronics industry and by following this method which you can do in a very much easier way we can find out the, uh, the used uh, uh, the voltmeter which we are using in our uh, application in different style. Thank you so much. You can take this book Objective Physics Practicals from Ilmi Book Depot, Urdu Bazaar, Lahore. Check these readings as a reference. Thank you. Your readings may be different from these readings.